Okay, right here is a 1970 Klein TD 1120P tandem drive off-road truck. Now before we go and take a closer look at this truck, let's talk a little bit about the history behind the Klein name. It all started in 1952, when Max Klein, who at the time was one of the top salesmen for Dart Truck Company, left Dart and went on to establish Klein Manufacturing based out of Kansas City, Kansas. Max Klein's main goal when he left DART to establish Klein Manufacturing was to build a company that would specialize in designing well-built, heavy-duty off-road trucks. And he accomplished just that. Now, let's go and get a closer look at this cool truck. The TD1120 was available with Cummins or optional Detroit Power depending on what the customer preferred. This particular 1120 is Cummins powered, and the engine that you see under the hood right here is a Cummins NTA 855 turbo diesel, which produces 420 horsepower for the truck. As you can see, the top hood on this truck is painted an anti-glare black to reduce glare on the operator when he's driving the truck. From under here, you can get a good view of the steering linkage. You can see the tie rods, the steering cylinder, and you can also get a good view of the front axle, which is a reverse Elliott type with a 7-inch diameter tubular center. And as you can see, this truck also features full-floating semi-elliptic leaf springs for suspension. On the front of the nose of the truck, you can see the metal guard to protect the front headlights and also the radiator, which is right here behind it, from any falling debris when the truck is in operation. And on the front of the nose of the truck, you can see where it says, Klein. From this side, you can get another good view of the Cummins diesel engine that powers the truck. And here you can see the single air intake and the air cleaner for the engine. Here you can see the diesel fuel tank, which holds 100 gallons of fuel. Take note on just how thick and heavy duty the frame is on this truck. From under here, these two round tanks that you see located on each side of the frame are the air tanks for the air brakes. And from here you can get a good view looking at the transmission on this truck. The TD1120P was available with either a six-speed Allison power shift transmission with a torque converter or an Eaton Fuller manual transmission, which is what this truck has installed in it. Now, let's go up inside the operator's cab. On the side of the cab door, you can see the plate that says Klein Truck Company and the truck model number. You can see where it says TD1120P. Okay, out in front here, these two switches control the top and bottom front headlights. The lower ones control the backup lights. This switch is for the dash light, the dome light, and these two lower switches are for the front and rear heaters. All the gauges that you see right here monitor the truck when it's in operation. This is the speedometer, 
water temperature, amps, oil pressure, air pressure, the fuel level, and the tachometer. And this big hand lever you see over here on my right side is the gear shift for the transmission. As I said earlier, this truck has an Eaton Fuller manual transmission, and this is the stick to control the transmission speeds. On the floor, gas brake and clutch pedal. This box that you see to the right of the operator's seat contains the batteries for the truck. And from here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were driving a Klein TD 1120. On my right side, the hand lever you see below controls the dump box. As you can see, this truck features two rear axles. Now let's talk a little bit about this design. The Klein TD 1120 is what you call a tandem drive off-road truck. And these tandem drive off-road haulers were very popular throughout the 1950s and into the 1970s. Some of the benefits to a tandem drive off-road truck are it provides lower loading height and target length. It also makes the truck more back stable and provides better traction in the mud and snow. And as some operators will say, because of the longer wheelbase, it provides a smoother ride for the operator. And as you can see, the dump box on this truck is very long. This is called a Morgantown style coal box. It's designed for hauling coal and it is rated at 40 ton capacity for this truck. However, the days of hauling coal for this big truck are long over. The truck has been customized and now serves as a water truck on this surface mine. Klein became a division of ISCO Manufacturing in 1972. All truck models were renumbered. The TD-1120P was renumbered the IC-240C. The Klein name also disappeared off the trucks and wouldn't appear again until 1978 when the company was sold to T&J Industries that kept the company until 1985. Since then, Klein Truck Manufacturing operated through a division of CBT Corporation. The Klein off-highway trucks were discontinued in 1993. But there she is, a 1970 Klein TD 1120P tandem drive off-road truck.